Hello and welcome to another Reblium tutorial. Today we'll show you how to export a Reblium character and use it as a third person character inside of Unreal Engine. This time I started with a random face and I was planning to generate a few more but I really liked the one I got so I just went with it. Uh, gave it some clothing and now I'm gonna give it some makeup and uh, lipstick and export our character. You can choose whatever settings you want for the export and let's go to Unreal Engine. Once we have our character exported, we're gonna create a new third person template in Unreal Engine. Name it and create your project. Now, a couple of things we need to do before we start is first to enable the Reblium SDK plugin. So we're gonna create a new folder inside of our Unreal Engine project, call it plugins and copy the Reblium SDK with the correct version of our project to that folder. Before restarting our editor, we're gonna enable another setting called Skin Cache. It should get automatically enabled, but in Unreal 5.4 it doesn't. Once we restart the editor, we're gonna see our Reblium SDK importer plugin. That's gonna import our DHS file that was exported from Reblium. We can give it a name and now we can see everything imported with the blueprint and assembled. So after a little walk around our character, we're gonna duplicate our character's blueprint so that we can use it later if we need to. And we're gonna look at the Reblium character crucial parts for it to work. So we have the event graph, construction script, and the Reblium setup. All three of those are crucial for the character to work properly, so make sure if you make any changes, they stay in the hierarchy and work. Next, go to class settings on top change parent class to BP third person character which is gonna make it into a third person controller. Now we're gonna have new components here. We're gonna nest the Reblium skeletal mesh under the newly created mesh component and we're also gonna zero out the transforms of the Reblium mesh to make sure they're in the same position. Now I've seen a lot of people come across this issue where they assign the original blueprint uh, that's not going to work because the skeletons are different between the mannequin and the Reblium character. So as you'll see now, it will break the character. And I don't think anyone wants that, but to each his own. So we're gonna disable that and I'll show you what to do to fix that. We need to retarget the animations. So we're going to find the animation blueprint, right click it and hit retarget animations. Assign the Reblium character as the target skeletal mesh, select the animation blueprints that you want to export, and export animation. You can give it a prefix so you can find it later. Now we see it, all the animations and the animation blueprint were exported into our content folder. And now we're gonna assign the animation blueprint with the retargeted animations. And now we can see everything work as expected. We have one more thing left to do, and that is to copy the blueprint from the original controller to the Reblium character. If we don't do that, our character will not move. So we need to go into the original blueprint that came with the template, and we're gonna copy the entirety of the event graph from the original blueprint into the Reblium blueprint. We're gonna need to merge a few things, so after making sure we copied everything from the original blueprint, we're gonna go into the Reblium blueprint and paste it there. Control V to paste your nodes and just make sure you have everything in view so that you can attach it together. We're gonna blend both uh, events together basically, so just grab Reblium setup and connect that output into the cast to player control. Compile, save and close your blueprint. Now, before playing our game, we need to set the pawn to our newly created blueprint. So in default pawn class, we're gonna select the Reblium blueprint that we just made. So while everything seems to be working properly now, we want to still fix a few little things, which is the shadows and the landing animation. To fix the shadow, we need to create a physic asset for the Reblium character. So right click the skeletal asset in the folder, create and assign a new asset, and whatever setting is okay, you can edit it later or not for the shadows, it doesn't matter. And for the landing animation, we're gonna find the landing animation that we exported earlier and change the additive anim type to local space. 
Now we see everything is working properly and we have our character ready. Now I'm also gonna show the other way around which is applying the Rebellion character to the original uh, controller because I saw that some people also uh, had issues with that and asked how to get uh, that done so I'll show the other way around. So I just set my controller back to the original one in the Sin blueprint and I'm gonna open that controller and very easily since we already have the animations blueprint retargeted we're gonna uh, instead assign our own skeleton and also our own animation blueprint. Then we're gonna add some groom components so that we can assign our groom assets and uh, binding asset. Once the character is all set up we're only left with copying the blueprint data from the original Reblium character into the third person blueprint character. So we're gonna start with the event graph and copy just those two nodes into the new event graph and connect them just as we did previously. Then take the construction script, paste that and uh, connect as well. Then finally the Reblium setup script, paste that and connect. And basically we're done. We compile and save. I applied some hair physics just for fun on our hair asset. And now we have two animation blueprints. One is the original blueprint that came with the template which we assigned the Reblium character to. And the other is the original Reblium blueprint which we assigned the third person controller to. We hope that was helpful. If you have any questions about Reblium Studio, this tutorial, or if you want to ask us to make any other tutorials or in need of assistance, please let us know. And see you next time!